Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for coming. My name is Kenneth Elser. I'm the U.S. Attorney for the Western District of Arkansas. Uh, yesterday, Larry Navarrete was sentenced in federal court in Fayetteville to 20 years imprisonment for conspiracy to distribute methamphetamine. This sentence was ordered to run consecutively to a 38-year California state prison sentence, which Navarrete is currently serving and was serving when he committed the conspiracy offense in our district. According to court records, Navarrete, while in prison in California, used a contraband phone to arrange and direct shipments of methamphetamine to co-conspirators in Northwest Arkansas and in Oklahoma. In addition to Navarrete, the investigation resulted in the indictment and conviction of 18 other individuals involved in trafficking, trafficking methamphetamine in Northwest Arkansas and the indictment and conviction of several individuals in Oklahoma involved in trafficking methamphetamine. The investigation resulted in the seizure of more than 25 pounds of methamphetamine. The investigation also involved coordination with the FBI, DEA, and local law enforcement in California, and that investigation has resulted in the recent indictment of 44 individuals in California. The investigation revealed that Navarrete was the leader of an MS-13 clique, and the information gained from the Arkansas investigation was extremely helpful in furthering the investigation into MS-13 activities in California and nationwide. Not only did the investigation achieve outstanding results, but it exemplifies the outstanding cooperation of the local, state, and federal law enforcement officers in Northwest Arkansas. All of the agencies represented here, and some that couldn't make it, worked together to achieve results that would not have been possible without this spirit of teamwork and cooperation. I would like to commend all the officers who were involved in this investigation and to commend Assistant United States Attorney Kim Harris, who prosecuted Navarrete and the others in our district, and who worked closely with law enforcement throughout this investigation. The citizens of Northwest Arkansas should be proud of the outstanding work of all these law enforcement agencies who work hard and sacrifice every day to try to rid the community of the scourge of methamphetamine and other illegal drugs. So with that, I'll turn it over to uh, Matt Barton. Thank you. Thank you uh, again. My name is Matt Barton with the DEA. Um, and as, uh, as USA Elser said, thank you for everybody coming. Uh, thanks. Uh, to the media for covering this, but most importantly, I want to thank all the agencies and all the people that worked on this case, because without this collaborative effort, uh, this would still be going on in Northwest Arkansas. There's no doubt. Violent gangs, violent drug organizations operating in the United States, in Arkansas, and in Northwest Arkansas should be put on notice today by the effort that was produced by this group, this uh, uh, cooperative effort of law enforcement, the National Guard was associated with us, the U.S. Attorney's Office, and all the state and local agencies here that uh, participated in this. This simply would not have happened without that effort. Um, Larry Navarrete, as, uh, as, as USA Elser said, was sentenced yesterday to 240 months. But I assure you that is not the final nail that is going to be put in this case, nor is it the nail that's going to end our a collaborative effort of going after violent drug trafficking organizations uh, in Northwest Arkansas. Um, so again, uh, with with the, uh, I think there was a total of 27 arrests uh, on this uh, this investigation. 17 or 18 of them were prosecuted federally. Uh, and and Navarrete, uh, during his time while he was in state custody in California, with that contraband phone not only operated a, the drug organization here, drug organizations in other cities and states within the United States, and also had ordered uh, violence uh, to be handed down to those in his organization did, that did not pay their drug debts. And again, today, we're gonna, we're gonna draw the line, and that is not gonna happen. Um, so with that, I'll turn it over. Uh, if anybody else has any questions or open it up for for questions. Can you share what all is being done to stop the violent gang activities, maybe specifically here in Northwest Arkansas? 
I, I can assure you this, and I don't want you to turn the cameras around, but the, the guys and the ladies in this room right now uh, are working every day on, on uh, uh, drug cases that involve violence. Um, I think we have to get back with what's going on in our society today to understand that drug dealing is a violent crime. Drug dealing is killing 52,000 people a year in this country from just overdoses, not to include the violence that is being uh, handed out uh, for, um, for going up against an organization. It is a violent, violent um, uh, criminal distribution organization. So um, every day the men and women of Northwest Arkansas are going out there and doing battle in the streets to keep the citizens of Northwest Arkansas safe. What is the current state of, of gangs in Northwest Arkansas? And I mean, you say violent gangs should be put on notice. Are there more than people even realize here in our area? I, I don't know that, I look at a violent organization and a gang organization to be any organization that distributes drugs, all right? Some might look at it as a violent situation of, of, of uh, handing down violence or committing violent acts, and that is violence as well. I look at a, a, a drug trafficking organization to be a violent organization, and that's what I'm referring to. And are there many here in the Absolutely, there's, there's violent drug uh, organizations all over. That it, they know no boundaries, they don't know a city limit sign, and they certainly don't know a state sign. They will go anywhere that they feel that they can manipulate and make money off of their criminal acts. Where will NABRA be held? Uh, I have no idea. It'll be up to the court and the, uh, the Bureau of Prisons as far as I know. Anybody else? I one last, I'm sorry, one last question. Can you uh, share with us how long this investigation took you guys to... Uh, I, I believe it started in February of 2015. Um, and again, it did not end yesterday with his sentencing. Um, and as uh, first assistant uh, folk said, there's other investigations that are ongoing. And sometimes these cases will spin off to other areas of the country, to uh, other countries, uh, specific El Salvador, um, that, uh, um, so they could go on for a very long time. Is MS-13 the, the gang that's most prevalent here in Northwest Arkansas, or who else are we seeing? Uh, I, don't, I don't really have the answer to that myself. Um, I, again, I think that this is a faction of them. Um, would that be fair to say? Yes, sir. Uh, I, I am hoping that uh, with the arrest of 27 people, again, not that, that all of 27 of them were part of this gang, but they certainly were doing business with this gang. Um, but there certainly are other gangs, but I'm not, I'm not uh, sure as far as a name or so something like that. I would that. just say that uh, over the course of my career at the U.S. Attorney's Office, we have been, the DEA, the locals, and everybody have been dealing with uh, drug trafficking organizations that are multinational drug. It's not just been MS-13. Now, MS-13, I would say, is particularly violent, and that is a reason why they are a priority. But I would, I believe there are, throughout our district, throughout Arkansas, I know there are drug trafficking organizations with ties to cartels and with ties to violent uh, organizations, and those are the those are the type of uh, organizations that our office, the DEA, uh, in cooperation with the locals, try to target. So, um, and we'll continue to do that. And this this. Um, investigation just shows the success that that uh, cooperation can bring and, and I expect that to continue and that we will um, we will continue to um, target those organizations and do all we can to limit their um, their activities in in Northwest Arkansas and throughout the Western District of Arkansas. In your experience is this type of investigation unprecedented for our state and for our area? Well, I would say this, I've never had a case where the leader was directing the, the drug activity from a prison. So it, it has some many unique aspects to it. And I'll say this, the level of cooperation both locally and with the, the um, 
federal authorities in California, federal and local authorities in California is, is one, in my experience, that our office has not been involved in to that extent. And so I think in, in that respect, this is a very uh, unique and uh, commendable effort. And it began with just some very simple drug buys that resulted in search warrants. And it, it's more detailed in, in the press release and in the court documents. but. It, it is, to my, in my mind, it's exactly why cooperation among um, the law enforcement in this area makes a big difference because without that cooperation, without getting everybody involved, we would have never gotten to, they would have never gotten to the Navarrete who's directing it out of the prison and to the others that were not in our area. And so it, it's very important to cut off the, um, the supply as far up the, the um, ladder as you can, and that's what we try to do in these cases. So, Clay said a few questions, so I think that's going to, unless y'all have one more, we will have one more. I've got one more for you, if that's okay. Uh, what should the people of Northwest Arkansas know about maybe some of the gang activity here in our area? Well, you know, I, I'm not, uh, I, I really, as far as gang activity, this case was focused on drug trafficking activity, okay? So with regard to that and what uh, Matt had said is there are drug trafficking organizations and MS-13 is particularly a violent one, but they're all violent and I agree with everything he said. Drug trafficking is a violent activity and I, what I guess I could say is that in this area, Northwest Arkansas, uh, as throughout our district, people are working very hard and diligently and making a lot of success in attacking that problem. But again, it's a problem that's nationwide and you have to work at it every day and that's what these, um, these agents and the, and the assistants in my office do every day as they go to work every day to try to eliminate those organizations. Does Northwest Arkansas, is methamphetamine a problem here in Northwest Arkansas? It's a problem throughout the state of Arkansas. I'd say it was the number one problem in Arkansas throughout our district. You know, our district covers Hot Springs, Texarkana, El Dorado, uh, Harrison, and the number one, uh, I guess, prosecution drug that we prosecute and that we target with drug trafficking organizations right now is methamphetamine. So, it, it and and I think Matt can speak for Little Rock in the Eastern District. That is the case in Arkansas. Is. Methamphetamine is the is a major problem so okay thank y'all for coming